Okay, so now you know how to use Zoom to create meetings so that you can connect with your team or with your client. Now, the second thing you wanna have is a, some sort of an invoice maker. If you don't already have something to invoice people with, this is a great plugin uh, for Gmail. Um, it's called Bookkippy and it's an invoice maker. So I'm gonna put the link down below and while you're down there, if you could hit the like and subscribe button so you know when new videos come out on this series, guys. Um, also, if you haven't already and you wanna learn how to use your phone like I am uh, to make videos that maybe you could share for your team or even put on YouTube, whatever it may be, um, there's a series right here that you can watch and I'm kind of doing both series at the same time. So um, feel free to go check that out as well. Um, the app that I'm talking about is an invoice maker. It plugs right into Gmail. So right from Gmail, you can send an invoice to somebody. It also has an app for Android and also for iPhone. So you can send invoices right from your iPhone. So if you don't have a laptop or a desktop, no need to worry. You can still use the app to do this as well. So let's hop into that right now. I hope you enjoy. This is a way so you can get paid. Also, we're gonna be talking about Stripe because that's what we're gonna use as a payment method. So that way people can use their credit card to pay you or their debit card, whatever it is, um, right through this app as it sends out so they get an invoice. You can actually start off with an estimate, switch it to an invoice. Actually, I'll think that's how we're gonna do it. So start off with an estimate, switch it to an invoice, send out for payment, receive payment. And it's super easy to do. So this way you have figured out your chain of how to get paid for whatever you're doing, whatever you, your business is that you may need to get paid for. And if you don't have something set up already, this is how we can do it. Very simple. So um, download Stripe as well. I'm gonna put the link down there below. Go ahead and create an account for them because you're gonna sign in through the app actually. So let's hop into that right now. Okay, so now when we go into our phone, we wanna look for Invoice Plus, and it looks kind of like this little V character up here. And let's get right into the Bookipi Invoice uh, Plus Maker. So this is what you'll see. Um, I just made this new account, so uh, so you'll see what I'm seeing most likely. Uh, there's some tutorials in here that will give you a basic rundown of the app, which will be very helpful. Um, up here on the top, uh, you can search uh, for invoices if you need to. Um, you can go from invoice to estimate. Uh, you can check out customers. Uh, you can do expenses. So that way you can change from an estimate into an invoice as well. Um, also, you can do reports, and the reports will look like this. You can look at the invoice and the paid, and it can also generate an actual uh, printable report just by clicking that top button, and you'll have something to print out, and you can send that to your printer. Um, over here, the three buttons, if you click that, that will get you to your settings. So at the top, um, you have your main settings, and that's what you want to click into. Uh, you have your account. It's going to allow you to upload a logo for your company. So that way you can put your logo here up on top. Uh, you can resize the logo, and uh, that it basically gives you a preview of what it's going to look like. Um, you put your company information. You know, you can put uh, a signature here. Um, you can also do payment instructions, and this is where we're going to start using Stripe. If you haven't used Stripe before, uh, it's an amazing credit card processing uh, company that's online. Uh, it's a small charge per, per item, but you don't have to deal with any of the uh, kind of PayPal sign-up stuff. Um, it makes it very easy for people to use even Apple Pay with it. So... Um, Check out Stripe. Um, you want to sign up for a free account with that as well. I'll probably do another video on that, on how to sign up for Stripe and why it's good. Uh, but for right now, just know it's awesome. Um, I always set the overdue reminder uh, just from doing freelance for so many years. Uh, God bless my clients, but they tend to sometimes forget about that invoice a little longer than needed. So I just put an automatic reminder in there that will basically be reminding them that, hey, you have not overdue invoice um, and because it's automated it, it it's more robotic it doesn't seem so personal so anyway um, good good feature to have 
Uh, you can switch your invoice numbers. You can do uh, when is this due in, uh, where you can put your terms, enter your tax information. Um, you could put even a note if you want to leave a note on the bottom of your invoice. Uh, default email message that you're going to be sending out, which you can, you know, whether it's an invoice, an estimate, or an overdue reminder. Um, and you can even rename fields and send a copy to yourself if you need to. Uh, make sure you can check the currency is USD. That's where we are in the States. I don't know where you guys are. Um, you'll be able to change that if you need it. Um, put that to the currency you need. Um, and that's basically it, guys, for the settings. Um, now, when you go back to your main screen, uh, at the bottom, you have a plus sign. If you just click that plus sign, you're ready in the middle of creating the invoice now. So um, you can add a customer here. Uh, I'm going to just put test in there right now. Um, I already added an item in there, which would be a consultation fee. And so you can create those items and also save them in there so they just become part of your library so it's easy to create these really quickly. Uh, the tax, because you put that in the settings, will automatically be added. And you can still now add even another note if you wanted to. Um, you can add some terms and conditions. And you can also set that in your settings as well. Um, you can choose to either put in a signature area where you're putting down your signature and a signature for your client as well, just by clicking these buttons. Um, and if you want to add a photo, um, I tend to do that, actually. If I send an invoice to somebody that I've done some graphic design work for, or a website design for, or something like that, I tend to add a thumbnail to it. It's just easy for us to all reference very quickly. Um, and it's just a, a good added receipt for the client and for yourself. So um, anyway, I also set the overdue reminder. I already kind of have that set globally, but you can set that per invoice if you need to as well. Once you're ready, you click the, uh, the checkbox at the top right, and it's going to give you the options uh, to preview, send, and when you preview it, that's what it's going to look like when they receive it. Very professional. Um, sorry about the, uh, <laughs> the notification. Um, but anyway, the, uh, the invoice is going to look like that. It looks great. You can print that out, or you can just go ahead and email that. So that's awesome. Uh, as far as payment... Uh, get paid with a credit card, you can go ahead and do that. And that includes your Stripe uh, account. So once you have your Stripe account, you click into that and you can fill out the information. It's an easy walkthrough. Um, and you can also require a signature. If you click the three buttons on the very right, you can get a signature and require that on the invoice um, or copy or send it to the trash. So anyway, that is how you set up your BookieP app on your phone. It's also how you'll be able to send that out to uh, the people that need it. All right, and thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next video.